I'm excited right now that my work is is changing so much. There have been like some little anticipations about the direction that my work can grow in. You know, a year ago I was at the Skohegan School of Painting and Sculpture for a three month residency and that really invited me to like let your work change, you know, in all the ways that you want to grow, like begin that growth here. And I think that almost a year later, residencies like this one here in Lincoln and the residency at the Denver Art Museum are spaces I think that can like very directly support some of this growth and development for myself. I mean, I'm using synthesizers. I'm using like machines that are prompting like noise, that are prompting like a really subjective, have your own experience kind of space. And a lot of the times it's, it's sort of butting up against like this harsh noise space. One of the tools that I, that I have been learning and, and working with in, in anticipation of the Denver Art Museum work has been uh, a 3D printer. And so for me, it feels very linked to this idea of like the lineages of silversmiths that I come from, these ju jewelry makers. I mean, the practice is obviously <laughs> very, very different than, than like Navajo jewelry design. But I think just the, the impulse of like designing things and then materializing them for me feels very connected to that familial lineage that I come from and then most recently over the last year I've been playing a lot with this like flexible LED light material to me it, it does something very similar to like the the analogs like sonic distortion like noise synthesizers sort of tools I'm sort of making these like site-specific light pieces that are that are intended to be installed in landscapes, photographed. I often will perform with the light pieces themselves, to just kind of just like I would perform with the, the the sound tools. When I first started making art. I was very much coming f kind of freshly from this perspective of, of having worked as a, as a filmmaker. And so I was really interested in this idea of kind of simply translating what exists into other like accessible forms. That's what I hope for my work is just for it to continue to evolve in ways that are, are continuously about discourse.